Oreo. Who else has been called an Oreo? It's when you're white on the inside and on the out biscuit black. As with everything else back then, I didn't know how to think or to feel, so I let it slide and I jerked back. But what was so white about me? Maybe it was my aversion to disgusting race. Maybe, as I often thought, it was my alternative music taste or a desire for silky straight hair that could someday reach my waist. The way I acted and the way I spoke, it always drew similar comments. And so gradually that I couldn't even see, these remarks grew like poison ivy. They were constricting and dividing what was left of my identity leaving fragments that I still have to keep going on. I am black. That's clear for all of you to see. And finally, I am happy with that at the ripe old age of 24 now, so if you don't mind, I'd like to explain. Let me introduce myself. I am British passport, Nigerian name. Bowing backwards so as not to place blame and make you feel uncomfortable, but what about my ease? Jumping from one predominantly white school to another, I would break my back to appease. My name is, and I'll give you the whole thing, which I don't know do. Nkechuku is your man Ngozi Chukukamwokolo, but you can just call me Ketch. Still called anything from neck to Ketch and Wanagog and Mega now, but, <laughs> sorry, but, <laughs> sorry, um, <laughs> and now I've lost my little book. So got anything from neck to keck to Nwanagog, and I don't even care anymore. I am proud of my name. But when I was 10, what choice did I have? It was none but to contain. I had to call, take it as it came. Can't let rage rise in a black female frame, or they'll call you angry black woman and you'll be representing that old stereotype again. I wanted a name like Rose. I wanted Jessica. I wanted anything but the murmurs that rose when registers were read by substitute teachers, and isn't it a shame? Kind of conditioned to have anything but pride in where I came from, who I am. And yes, I wish so hard that I knew the language of my people. The only words I could exchange with my great-grandmother were the in Jesus' name we praise as she blessed me for the next few years that we wouldn't see again. Lord, I miss them. Black faces, full stop. I'm often reeling, feeling odd, to, to for one to not be the only one, reared by, my, reared by my mother to be the best because I cannot fuck up. Black fucked is worse than white unrest, apparently. Keep my slate clean, but clean white. Forget about the different states of flawless that exist worldwide, the histories. It has never been just one. So if you want to call me an Oreo, I could be okay with that because there's nothing wrong with black and there's nothing wrong with white. Nothing wrong with a coffee-colored mix or everything in between. It's not, you know, your clan, my pack, one tongue lashing and another back, so long as we know that our words affect. Aside from blood and guts and bone, we all have butterflies and knots inside. We're all scared little children convinced that the angel is dressed head to toe in the purest white. Or well, how about sport tonight, breakfast aside, we all pretend that here where we stand is home. Thank you and good night. Yay!